Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. Welcome to Kids Stay Home. Hi everyone, welcome to Playum at Home with Hafiza and Qingming from Playum. We are so excited to start crafting and inventing together with you. Playum at Home looks at reimagining what these recyclable materials you have at home could be transformed into. Don't worry if you don't have the exact same materials as us. You can always craft with what you have. As you can already tell, we both have very different materials available. Hmm, Hafiza, what material shall we explore today? Ooh, I think we should try plastic bags. Yes, let's see what we can create with plastic bags. These are all the plastic bags we have. What can we do with them? But before we begin, let's try to understand what plastic bags are like first. Maybe we could crush them. Or we could try and pull them, stretch them all the way out. What happens? Let's listen to the different sounds that the different plastic bags make. We could also try and pull them. Maybe that's how some of you guys keep your plastic bags at home. Or you can also cut them up into strips. Getting to know your materials is a lot of fun. It could also help you get some ideas on what you can create with them. Hmm, what if we need more ideas? Where else can we look for inspiration? Let's try and walk around our house. Or even just in our rooms. Look at our favourite things or even our favourite animals. What about looking outside? What do you see? You could also think of the places that you've been to and the things that you have seen. Great, now let's head back to workspace and see what we can create with plastic bags. Let's see. What does this look like? It looks like a girl with a kite on a windy day. Ooh, Hafiza, if I turn it around, I can see a bird sitting on the tree. There are also some fruits on the tree as well. Let's try drawing these ideas out. I would like to try this too. Let's see what happens when I put my plastic bags on the table. Hmm, what do you see? I see three fishes and a jellyfish and they are swimming around seaweed in the water. What about you, Hafiza? Ooh, I see a mermaid dancing with a scuba diver in the deep ocean. Now let us draw out these amazing ideas as well. Wow, I'm so inspired by all the ideas we shared. I think I'm going to try and make a fish. What about you, Hafiza? Hmm, I think I might just try making a kite today. I might not be able to go to the park, but I can definitely try flying a kite, a mini kite, with my fan at home. Using my scissors, I'm cutting a diamond shape from the plastic bag for my mini kite. Do remember to be careful with your tools. Oh, I'm currently doing the same thing as Hafiza. I'm cutting my plastic bags into squares. Or diamonds, if you tilt it the other way. We will need quite a lot of squares for this fish. So I'm going to cut out different coloured plastic bags as well, so I can have a colourful fish. I found some sticks that were perfect to keep my kite together. I'll be taping the sticks to the plastic bags. Well, I'm 
I'm still here cutting my plastic squares. I just wanted to come in to say that this really reminds me of salmon. I finally finished cutting my plastic squares. Now here I have some embroidery thread and I'm going to use an embroidery or cross stitch needle as well. Once I've threaded my needle and tied a knot at the end, I'm going to thread my plastic squares together. You can thread as many plastic squares as you want. You can also thread them differently, poking through different ends of the square. Experiment and see what you can come up with. This needle has a blunt tip as well, which I think makes a useful tool if you would like to introduce sewing or cross-stitching to the young ones. Now I think I'm happy with the size of my fish. I am going to add a head and a tail using cardboard and some markers. I am going to stick it together with double-sided tape. Lastly, I'm just going to tie some embroidery thread so that I can hang up my fish for display. Finally, I'm tying a thread to the kite. Let's see how it flies. Hmm, you can experiment with different designs for your kite. Try different shapes and ways to keep your kite together. And here's my fish. Can you think of other things that the layers of plastic bags could be? What else can we create with plastic bags? Thank you for joining us! Hey kids! If you are inspired by today's video and decide to make something, anything, share it with us with the hashtag 3Pumpkins and stand a chance to be featured in our next video. See you next time! Bye!